Welcome back from the short break. Uh, you can send your contribution to our Facebook page, Focus on Ghana, or send your contributions to our email, Focus on Ghana at voxafrica.com. My guest on the show is James Kwesi Apia, the coach of the Black Stars, the national team that has qualified for the World Cup three times running. And of course, he is the very first Ghanaian who has done that and achieved that feat. And we're celebrating him. Now, Kwesi, the journey to Brazil, 2014. When we went out of the African Cup of Nations, the next task was to prepare the country for the World Cup. How has the journey been? Um, it's not been easy. Actually, it wasn't that easy, uh, considering the fact that, you know, our second game, when we lost to Zambia, right. you know, and at that time, Zambia, I think, lost to Sudan. But for some technicalities, you know, the a points was awarded to Which Zambia. Again, yeah. So at that time, you know, all Ghanaians were like, oh, that's it. You know, we, we finished. But I, there was one meeting I said, I told them that no matter what, Ghana is going to qualify. And um, I believe that the players, you know, the were so determined, you know, and that, you know, helped us along the line um, to qualify the nation. It wasn't that easy. And then, you know, even after qualifying from our group stage, mm -hmm. you know, we had to meet um, Egypt, you know, and considering the fact that Egypt is seven times African champions and they uh, were like coming to Ghana first before you go to okay. their home. And, um, it wasn't easy, but um, God being on our side, you know, we, we've been able to sail through. What, what, was it an issue of one management, your selection ability, mm. or the prayers of the country that made us qualify? I think, um, you know, as I said earlier, everybody played this role well from uh, the president of the country, the ministry, the FA, um, the my technical team, and then the playing body. The media and even the supporters as well. Your church as well. My church as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody was praying and uh, putting uh, their support and everything behind the team. And you know, when it comes to football, you know, there is big unity in Ghana right. because um, everybody puts his weight. And I'll take this opportunity to thank everyone because um, they, or everyone, every Ghanaian played this role in this qualification. Now, looking at how you picked your team, uh, there was the issue of the captainship. Now, you gave Asamwajan the captain of the team. There wasn't much talk about that. It sent people's mind back to the 1992 uh, uh, issue that happened, or that you have explained earlier on. Mm -hmm. Why did you give Asamwajan that, that band, that role? Um, you know, when it comes to captainship, I believe that sometimes you look at the players you have at a particular time, look at who commands respect, mm -hmm. um, who the players will listen to, and um, you know, someone who's got leadership qualities. Okay. And I believe, you know, as I was giving the captainship at the time when we were going for the Cup of Nations, and um, at that particular time, you know, he was someone that I think I could rely on and um, I needed, needed to give him more responsibilities. Okay. And um, for me, he's done so, so, so well up to now. But, but at that time, you had in mind that uh, you're going to have your Sule Mutaris, Michael Essians, uh, the Kevin Prince Boatings of our time, and all these players would come in. Uh, Jomensa was just facing mm -hmm. off and all yeah. these things. Did that give you any headache at all? Oh, as I said, you know, when we were going for the Cup of Nations, you know, Sule was not around, um, was injured, I think. ACN also was coming back from injury. Kevin was not around. And um, at that particular time, you know, I think John, you know, was the most senior guy, the most respected guy, the most um, person that, you know, the players will listen to. 
and um, that was why, you know, he was made the captain. And uh, at the Cup of Nations, it, he played his role also so well. I believe that, you know, after the Cup of Nations, I, my confidence in him rose up very well, and I thought, okay, fine, mm -hmm. uh, he needs to continue his captainship okay. role. Most of your players that you have in your team now, mm -hmm. one time or the other, decided to retire from national uh, duty. Did they are you? Michael Lesien, uh Kevin Prince Boateng, and all those. What do you make of that? Do you ask them to come back? Or they feel that they needed a national team, so they should come back? No, actually, um, most of them, uh, actually all of them, I needed them, no matter the, their situation. I had to talk to them to get them back into uh, the team. Because, as I said, it's about Ghana. It's not about me. I mean, the blaster is not for me. It's for all Ghanaians. And once Ga a Ghanaian is a good player, you know, and at this crucial time, you automatically you need each and every player, you know, to be on board to help the nation. Mm. You know, so um, even though fine, um, every player wants to play for the national team, but sometimes you, being the manager, you need to know how to treat them, show they, let them know the respect we have to them, let them know that you need them as a manager and then the nation also needs them. Right. Has uh, Prince Boateng's uh, attitude frustrated you one way or the other? Because he keeps coming. Uh, the last time he was in Kumasi, there were reports that he claimed the pitch was too hard so he couldn't mm. play. Uh, you call him one way or the other, the team, his team or he himself comes to say that I'm injured, I can't play. There are reports that he breaks in all physio and all those things. Mm. Do these things frustrate you? Um, you know, as I said, when you're dealing with pr players, it's a total different ball game. Mm. And sometimes when you are the manager, you just need to know how to you know, man situations. handle um, such situations. And in his case, you know, he's, he's been having problems of late, you know, with injuries. And if you travel out, mm -hmm. you know, to most of these European, you know, pitches, you see that, you know, the quality is really, really high. You know, compared to you know African pitches, but saying that because of the nature of his injury, mm -hmm. you know sometimes you need to have a look at it. You know, and uh, in his case, you know our doctors were also, you know, right. having a look at his medical report and uh, in most cases assessing uh, his injury. And um, if if we use him, it's going to create problems for him along the line. Okay. Or we will not get, you know, the benefits that we expect from him. Then, you know, it doesn't actually <laughs> reason why you should um, um, use him. So sometimes we were not using him. We thought, okay, let, we should allow him to rest. And um, sometimes I thought, okay, fine. It's important that you brought him into camp. Yeah, you come to camp. Just be with us and. Um, see whether we can use you at the end of the week or if not, fine, we give you more time. Let, let me go into your camp now. Mm. There are talks about divisions. We have the camp of this, mm. the camp of that, players forming cliques mm. and all that. Does that happen in your team? That is the one good thing about the team now. Um, the unity in the team now is very, very, very high. Right. Um, you know, we are all like um, brothers, you know. Is it because of you? Um, I don't know whether to say it's because of me, but I think um, we've been able to bring everybody together, you know, uh, letting them know that we are all there for a purpose. We are all there as brothers. We are all there to defend the nation. Okay. And, um, for that reason, you know, nobody should see himself as a group or a clique. And um, I think for now, that thing is no, is no more. And um, the, you know, so, I mean, when you have three, two or three or more mm -hmm. people uh, at any given time, automatically there may be some, some few, right. but even that, for some time now, up to now, you know, we've had no problems with each other. They all move like brothers, they support each other. When they go in and stuff, you know, they encourage each other. So 
Um, I don't want to take the credit. I think the players, you know, deserve the credit because they done so well in uh, bringing this unity right. in the team. Those divisions, was that one of the reasons why probably we haven't won anything up to this point? Most of the time, when there are divisions in, in the team, it creates a lot of problem. Um, because when pff, there's no unity, automatically, there can't be success. Because um, you go on the page and each one will play for himself. And where someone needs encouragement, you not get it. And, you know, it, it does not actually help in, in a way. So I, I cannot attribute, you know, everything to that. But um, sometimes along the line, when you have such situations in your team, you know, you, you face big problems. Well, the journey to Brazil, how has it been? The various matches and our group, Germany, USA, and Portugal. Does he think we'll go beyond the group? We'll be back shortly.